With COVID, people are thinking about their health, thinking about immunity. I think people are getting more attuned to their health. And if you look at the broad macro trends of obesity, diabetes, Alzheimer's, these are all skyrocketing. I mean, I think, right. again, if, if listeners are based in you know San Francisco or LA, we're in a very, very narrow slice of the rest of our country. Um, I just came back from Arizona and people don't, you know, are not, they don't look like, you know, the beach babe or like this, you know, the, the surfer dude who's like always out there in, so in California, who's super thoughtful about it. Again, 60 upwards of 75% of Americans are overweight and or obese. A third of Americans are type two diabetic or pre-diabetic. So I think we're having a re-examination of how our healthcare system works and more and more people are realizing that the hospital healthcare system is a sick care system and we got to do so much more in terms of a lifestyle to make us much more resilient. Um, if you look at comorbidities of the most serious presentations of COVID-19, it's obesity, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. If you have one or multiple of these risk factors, you get the worst outcomes with COVID. So we are just a weak, sick population given all these crappy lifestyle choices that we've all passively made as a society. I believe in capitalism. I just think that the costs aren't fully understood, but I think the costs will be more fully understood so the marketplace will sort itself out. And what I mean by that is that people don't realize that eating this junk food is gonna is killing them mm. and causing them diabetes and all this hidden cost to that transaction right so i think right. that's where it's like okay people need to be educated so they're realizing that their super cheap whatever milk is actually not as cheap as they think because it just gave them a 10 percent more likelihood of getting diabetes and right. that's going to be super expensive so yeah i mean I, I mean, education problem. I don't know if I necessarily need to bring in capitalism versus other economic systems, but sure, no, no. <laughs> um, but I mean, I think you might, is that capitalism? Well, I think it's like, I think a more enlightened capitalism is that people actually understand the true cost of the transactions. So people then can make a better informed decision. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.